do you want to know how to add more widget and just customize as I have it right here on the desktop watch all the video and you will find out how to do it <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. So today we're gonna see some very, very cool app that you can install for free on your MacBook. Different location, but anyway, who cares? Let's go straight to the video and let's see how to add custom widgets to your desktop. So first of all, you can see that I have default macOS widget on my desktop. And so I have like weather, I have my notes widget, my calendar reminders, and the batteries and these are all default widget that comes with my macbook and as you can see i have other widget here on my desktop and these are from an app called locera i use this app mostly as you can see for the other calendar view the daily curiosity that i have right here down below and also just for fun i have my eight ball widget right here if i click on the widget it will give an int like it is an eight ball and it's very very cool in my opinion this other widget that i have lastly it is from an app that i have on my iphone but maybe this is for another video or maybe if you follow my channel you already knew what is the app we're not gonna count on that right now so if I open Locera widget right here, you can see that you have different option. So as you can see, I have my calendar and the interesting thing it is that you can customize your widget. In fact, I did add my events. So I just tick the show events, show birthday, and you can choose whatever calendar you want to add to the widget, of course and you can add the on this day. So it will show historical events if there are no birthday, no birthdays or event for that date. Very, very cool. And of course you can personalize and customize the theme. Other than that, you can add other widget like day left. It's very cool widget. It does have a very cool design in my opinion. You have the past, you have the storage left, you have the data usage. So there is a lot that you can add and as you can see right down below, there is the a, the magic ball, so the eight ball that you can add to your widget. Very, very cool in my opinion. You can give it a try, it is for free on the App Store, you can search it, but you will have also some premium feature. So most of these are just for free, so make sure to give it a try and let me know down below in the comments what do you think about that. But before going to the next app, make sure to leave a like down below if you did like this video and subscribe because this will help a lot this channel second app it is called menu bar x and this is a very simple app with a lot of views because as you can see the app appears right here on the top and it is this little x right here and if you click it you will find a lot of apps and this is pretty much the strength of this app because basically right here you can have access to all your socials you have access to ChatGPT, as you can see right here. And this is very, very useful because it's always here. It's always on the menu bar. So just click here on the app icon and you will have a lot of apps that you can, of course, customize. And as I said, it is easily reachable every time you want, pretty much. Then another app that you can see right here on my menu bar, it is this little G right here. And if I click it, it is Grammarly. So Grammarly, and I want to specify that this video is not sponsored by any one of this app, but Grammarly, you probably know it already. And as the name says, it will help you a lot to write better in general, like writing mails or anything else. It will be there anywhere you can write. And I feel this is a very, very good tool to have. Plus it's free for most of the feature. And as you can see right here, maybe if I click hello, I'm Johnny, for example, it can suggest you to correct I'm, for example, because it is not the right form, but can correct the grammar of your phrase or maybe the entire phrase, maybe the mood of the phrase. It can correct a lot of things. And as I said, most of the features are free. In my opinion, there is no reason to not install this app. So make sure to give it a try. It will help you a lot, especially for example, like in this case, English is not my first language and it will help you a lot to write better. Then as you could see before, right here on the top, I have this little arrow and when I press it, it showed a lot of apps that I have hidden right here. And this little app, 
It's called hidden bar, in fact. And as the name says, it will hide menu bar apps, especially if you use, like me, the newest, we can say, MacBooks with the notch, so you don't have like too much space on the menu bar right here on the top, because there is a notch, of course, and it will help you to have a cleaner menu bar. So in fact, right here, I have like a lot of apps on the menu bar, and I like to have my menu bar very clean, And but at the same time, I like to have like different app in the menu bar because they are always very easy to reach. This little app called Hidden Bar, it can save you and can help you to have a cleaner look to your MacBook. So make sure to give it a try. Then last app that I wanna talk about, it is Jest Timer. And as you can see it, it is right here on the top. I can drag this little icon whenever I want. So I can add minutes after minutes. And when I release my mouse, it says the exact time that I chose right here and I can write anything because this is just a reminder app. If I type right here, record video, for example, and then I hit enter, I will have this reminder right here on top. It's very, very cool. It will remind you pretty much anything that you want. The strength of this app, it is of the ease of access that you have it. And of course the cool animation because this is a very good design in my opinion. The clock like spinning, and you can decide very graphically when you have to set your reminder. And of course, this is used for simple reminders. And I see that right now there is a Just Timer 2 on the App Store. It is not free, unfortunately, because this version was free. And so I have this version like installed by some years right now. I saw that there are more features added to the app and I saw also some changes in design and I like it a lot, but this is just enough for me. If you want to try it out, the new version, let me know down below in the comments how it is, if you have already tried, of course. For now, I'm sticking to the old version because, I mean, as I said, it's just enough for me. This was my last app that I wanted to show you and this was my last app that I pretty much use every day. So if you have other app like this that you use every day pretty much to speed up your productivity, your workflow, anything, just type it down below in the comments because I will be happy to hear what app you use. In any other case, if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below because I mean, it's free. And also if you haven't subscribed already, just click the subscribe button down below because it will help a lot this channel. Also, I clicked on the A ball and it says yes. So yes to subscribe. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.